Cherry Digital Drawing on an iPad Time Lapse by Hot Pink Zebra Paper. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you a cherry themed little digital drawing that I did. And so it's a digital drawing that I did on my, I got a new iPad that has a little Apple Pencil thing. And so I was just playing around with it and I was just seeing what I could do in the little drawing app that I have and just kind of experimenting. And without realizing it, I recorded everything I was doing. I had no idea this happened until all of a sudden I went to save my little cherry drawing and it saved a video along with the image. And I was like, hey, look at that. I didn't know you did that, which it was kind of a happy surprise. And I thought, you know what, I will upload this. I don't know if you guys are gonna like this video. It's kind of jumpy, it kind of zooms in and out a lot in weird places. I spun the image around, I was holding my iPad in different directions. So it's all a little bit um, hard to watch, to be perfectly honest. So if you guys aren't prone to car sickness, seasickness, any of that fun stuff, this probably isn't gonna be a video for you, just because it is a little bit, like I said, a little jumpy, a little choppy. However, if you guys are okay with that and you make it through the video, I hope you like it and let me know if you guys are interested in seeing more digital drawings like this from me in the comment section below because um, if you guys like them, I am very happy to upload them. If you guys are like, wow, these suck, I, if it's just not your thing, just let me know that too because I don't, I won't take the time to upload them then. So just let me know if you like them or if you don't. I have done a couple more since I did this cherry one. So if you guys are interested, I will work on those and get those uploaded too if you want. So just let me know and don't forget to click subscribe to all my future videos as well. So to start with on my little digital drawing here, I'm going to go through and I'm going to outline and make the basic block shapes of my three cherries. Then doing just one of them, so they were all in different layers. If you guys do any of this, you know that you can kind of do different layers on things. I'm going to go through and I'm going to start highlighting it, adding shadows, and adding some texture on my cherry. So after I have all that done, then I'm just going to go through and erase and clean up all the lines going around it. So I, there's airbrush tools on there and there's these little ones that do different textures. So that's what I used for that. After I have the first one done, then I'm going to go through and do the second one. Same thing. There's the the texture so I did a brighter shade of red in the background then with a burgundy color and some white I'm going to do all my highlights on my cherries they're very glossy very shiny so go ahead and make sure that you really do some pretty drastic lines on there to really bring out that almost mirror like finish so then after you have all of those done on that one as well then you're gonna go through and erase all of those extra lines just make sure you kind of clean it up and make it look nice and pretty and after you have that same thing on the third one so it's a pretty easy, um, kind of a, I don't know, I thought it was pretty easy. I've never, I was kind of having issues with my texturizer there. I was working with it. It was causing me a little grief. But just, I've not, this is the first thing I've done on this. So bear in mind, it's not perfect by any means. I was experimenting, but you just kind of go through and do the same process with your last cherry. And then I'm going to take it, I'm going to make my stems. So same thing, I'm going to do the block shapes. And so with a really bright green, I'm going to do the first stems and each stem I did in a separate layer. So the three cherries were in different layers and the three stems are going to be in different layers from the cherries. So currently I have seven layers going on right now. I have the background, the three cherries and the three stems, and they're all layered up in the right way so that they fit together and you can always move those around depending on the app that you're using and so after that I have the texture going on on the stem itself and then I'm going to be adding the little kind of like the little attachment where it goes onto the cherry where it sucks in there kind of blend that in and then do the same thing with the other one I thought it was a little bit too thick so I did thin that out some and then taking kind of like a almost like a streaky looking brush I added all the little texture that's on the stem same thing going around the bottom and when I'm doing this uh the app that I'm using is the sketchbook pro for um, iPads, I know that they're kind of sketchbook is adjusting how their stuff works right now, but it's a great app. It's it's phenomenal, and I have used it in the past. I love everything that Autodesk makes. They also I also use their um, Pixlr for my photo editing. If anybody's curious about that, so um, if you guys are looking for anything like that for inexpensive software, this that company is amazing. So now that I have all my three cherries and they all have leaves or they all have stems, I'm going to be adding a leaf. So same thing. This is in another layer. So this is the eighth layer. This one on top. I'm going to go through and same green, add the green background and then take and just make the little texture on my leaf. I really enjoy make, drawing leaves. I've drawn them with uh, graphite several times because I just think it's, I don't know, I think it's fun. It's kind of cathartic because you just make all these little lines and there's no rhyme or reason to it. You just keep kind of going and filling in and making sure that there's all this texture on there and it's, it's, yeah. Anyways, on the digital drawing, so I start out and I added the main veins in your leaf. So those are the ones that are kind of like the brighter color that are 
the bigger the bigger ones that when usually when you just look at leaf those are the ones that you see and then there's all these little ones that go between those and those are a little bit darker so you want those bigger ones to be brighter and a little bit more of a highlight and the ones and the other ones to be a little darker and when I added the veins I used the airbrush tool so that they weren't these sharp lines they were a little bit softer a little more a little fuzzier not quite so harsh looking then go through and add some highlights in there so make sure everything is nice and bright and easy to see and I also added a couple highlights on some of the veins in the leaf in the areas of the leaf that are highlighted so as you can see there's brighter and darker values within the leaf and you want to kind of continue that throughout the veins and just kind of keep that process going add some more shadows within the leaf itself and then after I have all that done add some I'm going to erase all those lines make sure it's nice and clean around the edges and then take with an eraser tool and sort of create a sawtooth or a, like a shark tooth pattern going around the edge of the leaf so that it looks a bit serrated and the great thing with this app is that you can do that later you don't have to do these it's kind of a different process when you're working on an app like this versus something else because the eraser really does erase everything and you can rely on that more than if you're actually drawing with a pencil or markers or just it's a very it's kind of weird to think about all the possibilities and the things that you can do on this versus something else when you're used to using actual paint and markers and colored pencils or whatever whatever your preferred medium is after you have the little top of your stems drawn in then you can go ahead and add a shadow to the bottom layer sign it and it is all done like i said if you guys enjoyed this let me know and i can definitely upload a couple more of these i did a coca-cola bottle that i think is pretty cool and i'd love to share it if you guys are interested otherwise don't forget to check out my facebook and my instagram to see more of my art i will post pictures of the other ones that i have drawn there even if you guys don't want videos just in case you'd like to see and i'll see you in my next video bye